welcome back to Little Miss Drop Stage. And today I will be teaching you how to read a chart. Okay, so charts are useful um, over written instructions, for example, when doing something like this square, which has knits and pearl pattern in it. So we've got that making a love heart, or for example, where to place the bobbles on this square okay cables as well color work okay such as this so that's all helpful from a chart rather than saying you know knit two gray knit one blue and you know following that you can just do it visually and you can highlight them as you go as well so there's two ways you might be reading a chart if you're working in the round so this um, headband here that had a stitch marker and i just kept going around and around Okay, and then there's other work like this where it will be knitted flat, so you're going back and forth. Okay, I'll teach you knitting in the round, how to read the chart for that, because that's nice and easy. Okay, so your chart, let's see if I can zoom you in. Brilliant. So it will have numbers across the bottom. This represents the stitches, okay? So I've got one, two, three, four, etc. And then the numbers up the side represents how many rows, okay? And you may also get a, a well, you should get a little chart here. Um, so the blank squares that's on the right side were knitting and purling, which is the dots, okay? And all you're doing if you're knitting in the round, it will tell you, um, you know, people are free to design how they want, but nine times out of 10, you will be working from the right to the left and the numbers for the stitches will denote this as well. So if, you, if your numbers are starting at the right, then you're working right to left, okay? So you'll follow it all the way to the end. And then for working in the round, you will come back to the beginning and work exactly as, as the chart Luke's okay so you will always be knitting when you see a blank square and you'll always always be purling when you see a dotted square okay let's talk about knitting flat okay when I say knitting flat I mean a piece of work like this that's, that you go back and forth okay so as normal you do whatever it says for the correct side row and we're working right to left so you'd knit two that blank squares this one it does say it in the symbols there we go Okay, that's place a bobble. And then on the reverse row, so let's say even number there, that's a wrong side row. Um, number four, that's all those knit stitches, okay? But here our chart also says if you're on the wrong side, you need to purl. So we're doing a stocking stitch, okay? Um, and, the, and then the, the row after, that's the odd one, number five, that's knitted because we're on a right side row. Um, and and the, the row after that would be purled, even though the chart is blank and shown a knit stitch because that's if we're on the right side, if we're on the wrong side, we purl. Let me show you with this love heart chart, okay? Here's my little sample. So what we've done here, and it does say it here, okay, in the little key, so we're working right to left. So let's pretend this row, okay. Um, let's go for number seven. Um, so if that's a right side row, then we knit all the squares that are blank. And then when we, when we come to a dotted square, that's purled, okay. But what about the other side row? So we go left to right this time on the other side and where we see a blank square, our chart tells us we purl on the wrong side and where we see a dotted square, then we knit on the wrong side. Okay, here's my square, it still is blocking, we've got this heart shape. Okay, this is the reverse side, so that's where we've purled where there's a blank square and then we've knitted where there's a dotted square and then it has this is the right side and that's where we knitted where there's a blank square and purled where there was a dotted. But that's the beauty of this, you can actually use this one either way around. Well, I hope you find that whistle stop tour of reading pattern charts helpful. Do feel free to go and look at our archives as well with lots more knitting videos for you. Thank you and take care.